And then of course we have the hate you give. Whoa. To achieve their dream. Their dream? What? Hey fellow fiction fanatics, I'm Chase. Welcome back to my channel. With everything going on, I realized that I not only need to branch out in the genres that I read, but also to make sure I have diversity within the authors that I read as well. So today I'm going to be giving you a list of all the books that I cannot wait to read by black authors. Because there's so many books on this list, and because I like to go into my books pretty blind, I'm just going to give short bullet point buzzword sort of summaries for each of these. All right, let's get into it. So first up, I've got American Street by E.B. Zaboy. This book is a powerful read about the struggles of immigration. Next I have Black Enough, which is by a plethora of amazing black authors. This is edited by E.B. Zaboy. This shows a vast spectrum of authors and delves into the daily struggles of living as a black teenager in America. And it shows diversity within diversity. Next up is She Would Be King by Way Too More. This is three stories. It's both historical fiction and has aspects of magical realism and is a retelling of Liberia's formation. Next up, I have Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. I really love her writing and she is an auto buy author for me. So this is a prequel for The Hate You Give and it features Maverick, which is Star's dad. And so I'm really excited to see his story and everything that it entails because I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Next, I have Dear Justice by Nick Stone. I recently finished Dear Martin by Nick Stone. Dear Martin features Justice, who is a young black boy who faces racial profiling, political injustice, and police brutality firsthand. And he looks to the teachings of Dr. Martin Luther King for answers. And Dear Justice is about a character from Dear Martin named Quan, as he writes a letter to Justice about his experiences in the American prison system. Also by Nick Stone, I'm excited to get to Jackpot, which is about finding the winning lottery ticket before the winner can claim the prize. I really enjoyed Nick Stone's writing, so I plan to read a lot more of her books. Another one is Odd One Out, features Coop and Jupiter. They are best friends. Coop has been in love with Jupiter for as long as he can remember, even knowing that she's lesbian and that their romantic relationship is never going to happen. But things get complicated when Ray moves into town and starts having feelings for both Cooper and Jupiter. I also can't wait to get to Surrey, which is a Black Panther novel. A whole story about Surrey that's just amazing. I cannot wait to get to this. She's just amazing and powerful and smart, and I cannot wait to read this book. The Mesmerist by Ronald L. Smith. When a teen realizes she can talk to the dead, she learns that her city is going to be attacked by ghouls and has to team up with a strange group of children that have mysterious powers all their own. I also want to get to Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Rowanhorse. This is a post-apocalyptic story that features monster hunters, disappearances, and dark witchcraft, which just sounds awesome. I'd also love to get to The Opposite of Always by Jason Reynolds. This features love, death, time travel, and consequences. Also by Jason Reynolds, I really need to get to For Everyone. I have been on the waiting list for this multiple times. For some reason it takes forever, probably because it's amazing and everyone wants to read it. I actually just need to stick it out and read it when I can. And this is an inspirational poem that is, like it says, for everyone. It's about dreams, passions, and hopes. Also by Jason Reynolds, I can't wait to get to Miles Morales Spider-Man. I absolutely love Miles. I adored Into the Spider-Verse. He's such a great character and I just can't wait to see a book all about Miles. I'm just so excited about that and I really can't wait to get to this one. So the next book I have on my list is Stamped by Jason Reynolds and Ibram X. Kendi. I hope I'm saying that correctly. This is the history of racist ideas in America that inspires hope for a anti-racist future. And I think this is definitely a book that needs to be read and it's on my list and I will for sure be reading it as soon as I can. Next up, I have War Girls by Tochi Onyebuchi. The year is 2172. This is set in war-torn Nigeria and two sisters that are willing to fight an entire war to achieve their dream of peace. So the next book I have on my list is featured in the Rick Riordan Presents imprint, and that is Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. I don't even know how to describe this novel, honestly, but it seems like it's gonna be crazy, chaotic, incredibly intriguing, and just an exciting adventure overall. Next up is Slay by Brittany Morris. This is the story of Kiera Johnson, who is the secret developer and creator of a multiplayer online role-playing game. She faces major backlash from the media calling her game anti-white and she has to deal with everything that goes with that. 
A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. This is about two sisters who have to battle to the death to ascend the throne. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. This is a book that definitely intimidates me. I do really want to get to it. I just don't think I'm there yet, but once I am, I am so excited to read this book. It sounds so good, but it's like really dark and I don't think I would want to read it right now especially, but it's about this woman named Essen who comes home to find that her husband has brutally murdered their son and kidnapped her daughter. Now she must traverse the vast dark continent known as the Stillness to save her daughter. And though this seems incredibly dark, I am thoroughly intrigued. Next up is Let Me Hear a Rhyme by Tiffany D. Jackson. Three Brooklyn teens turn their murdered friend into a rap star by pretending he's still alive. Next up, I have Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. This is alternate history meets the Civil War plus zombies. Next up is Homegoing by Ya Jazi. This features two sisters, one who was married to an Englishman in Ghana and the other who was sold into slavery and shipped off to America. This book follows their descendants throughout history. Next up is a graphic novel called Bingo Love by T. Franklin. This is the love story of a same-sex couple who meets in 1963 at a church bingo. Forced apart by their family and society, and decades later they are reunited at a bingo hall. This just sounds absolutely adorable. I can't wait to read it. The artwork on this cover is just adorable and I love it. I want to get my hands on it as soon as I can. Next up on my list is Pet by A Quake Emizy. This book is about finding a monster in a world where monsters don't exist. Next up is a book that one of my best friends recommended to me, and that is Out of My Mind by Sharon M. Draper. This features a girl with cerebral palsy who has a photographic memory and refuses to be defined by her disability. Another graphic novel that is going to be on the complete opposite spectrum from Bingo Love is going to be Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. This features a black woman who is transported from 1970s California to a plantation in Maryland. I've heard this is really sad, but I think that's necessary and even though it's going to be very difficult to read, I do want to add it to my TBR. I am so excited for this next one. It just sounds so good and I really can't wait for it. And that's Cinderella is Dead by Callan Byron. This has been described as Black Cinderella falls in love with Merida and takes down the patriarchy. I mean, that's just amazing and I, oh, I'm so excited. Next up is Kingdom of Souls by Reina Baron. This is all about magic at a price. Ara sells years of her life to obtain magic that just might save her kingdom. And the next two books are by the amazing Elizabeth Acevedo. I read The Poet X by her and I just fell in love. She has a phenomenal way with words and I would definitely recommend picking up any of her books. I know they're gonna be great. The first one I would love to get to is Clap When You Land. This features two girls, one in New York City and one in the Dominican Republic who learn that they're sisters after the death of their father in a plane crash. And last, but certainly not least, is the one that I will be reading probably the soonest because I put it on my summer TBR, and that is With the Fire on High. This just sounds amazing. I probably said that a thousand times in this video, but I don't care. And this book features tough decisions, culinary arts, and delicious food. I'm so excited to read these books. I, I really can't explain how excited I am to read these. These are probably some of the best books that I'm gonna read. At least I'm really hoping so. Let me know the books you just can't wait to read by black authors. I'm always looking for more recommendations. Also, let me know some of your favorite books by black authors. Some of mine would have to include The Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Ediemi. I recently read this one and the sequel. She's definitely becoming one of my favorite authors and I am extremely excited for the third book when it comes out next year. I also love The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. And of course we have The Hate You Give and on the Come Up by Angie Thomas. These are some of my favorite books and I can't wait to find more of my favorites within these. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share the love. I'll see you next time. Bye!